August 1914, in the balmy heat of the Toronto summer, 18 proud, strong horses were hand-picked from the Toronto Police Mounted Unit to serve as part of the first contingent of Canadian fighters sent to the Great War. Only one of the 18 would survive the war, a horse named Bunny. In April, Bunny and the other horses were packed into the cramped hold of a ship and sent off to their first battle. They were greeted with poison gas, yet they bravely held the lines. Although Bunny survived, he would face years of meager food, quagmires of mud, freezing cold, hard labor, and fear. At the end of the war, Bunny was being written by Company Sergeant Major Tom Dundas, who had been a member of the Mounted Unit before the war and had been one of those first officers to volunteer to go overseas. And Tom Dundas's brother had ridden Bunny earlier in the war until he was killed in action. And after the death of his brother, Tom Dundas took Bunny as his own horse. Dundas and Bunny made it through the war together, but after armistice, they were separated. Dundas went back to the Mounted Police. Transporting horses was deemed too great an expense, so Bunny was left to watch his human comrades depart the desolate landscape of war-torn France. The police commission decided that yes, they would pay to have Bunny brought home from Toronto, and it was quite a media event. Pictures of Tom Dundas, pictures of uh, Bunny appeared in the Toronto papers, and it was a real celebration of this horse's life and this horse's survival. The celebration, however, didn't last. The approval to bring Bunny home had come too late. He had already been sold to the Belgian government for 40 pounds. Bunny never received any decorations, but Tom Dundas came home the most decorated member of the Toronto Police Service. Bunny will always be remembered for his service to his country and comrades. He will never be forgotten in the Horse Palace, where the strong, proud mounts of the mounted unit still serve the city of Toronto.